What's going on people? Hope you're doing well. Today, my friends, we are going to talk about the wide-angle Sony 60-35 f4. But before we start, as always, hit that intro. So I first of all want to thank all of those awesome people that have subscribed to my channel, just smashing that subscribe button and giving me useful feedbacks on my video. Thanks to you, I am improving on my videos. I want to tell you something really cool. Uh, for the past month, my subscription has increased by 40 people. So that is really cool. And I want to say thank you for that. And for all the new faces out there, my name is Bennett Grazer and I live here in beautiful Switzerland and do these videos here on YouTube creating filmmaking tutorials. So if that interests you, then keep on watching. Now I'm currently recording on my Sony 28 millimeter F2, which for me is wide enough and gives me that blurry background look that I need. But there comes a point where I need to shoot even wider than the 28 millimeter, especially in my apartment. Now let me introduce you to the Sony 60 to 35 F4 lens and give you my honest opinion about it. Now, this lens has a relatively small size and is lightweighted and has a good balance when I mount it to my Sony a7 III. It has a great size build quality with the outer part made out of plastic. Wait, sorry, this is my coffee cup. Here's the right one. The outer part is made out of metal. Keep in mind that it's not weather sealed. There is no rubber on the other end of this lens. So I suggest you use some kind of rain cover to protect it. It looks really nice and also feels great holding it. Uh, well, I actually need to take off these gloves, but I know it feels great. Now the wide angle zoom lens with an angle of 16 to 35 is a really great focal length for capturing landscapes, doing vlogs, recording in small studios, or even creating the vertigo effect. Now I wouldn't recommend shooting faces with this lens. I use the 55 millimeter to record faces of people. Thus the 1635 would be a great choice when you record the full body. Now here comes the good part. With the Sony a7 III, I have the Super 35 or APS-C crop mode, which crops into about 1.5 times, allowing me to increase the focal length that results in a 52 millimeter look. So whenever I want to record faces of people, I can use the Super 35 mode to get closer to my subject and have that 52 millimeter desired focal length. Now let's talk about the aperture F4. You probably heard of the G Master lens that can open its aperture up to 2.8, which allows more light to come in. I would have loved to buy the G Master lens, but since it costs around $2,200, dollars that's why i went with this lens that is half the price now this baby can moderately handle low light scenarios especially with the sony a7 III. going back to the g master lens with the aperture of 2.8 i don't find it necessary to have a 2.8 shallow background especially when using a wide angle now you can get some separation with this lens you just zoom in all the way to 35 and have your subject close and you will get some black black background black line black line lang. you will get some background blur because of its wide focal length and optical image stabilization you get great results when shooting handheld it produces a very sharp image especially when opened at 60 millimeter you will get some slight vignetting in the corner when you shoot at 60 millimeter but you can avoid that by zooming in slightly or fixing it in post now the focus on this lens is very accurate and quickly like me i prefer that the autofocus is silent and this baby has this feature. Now, in conclusion, I think that everyone should have a wide angle lens in their equipment. And the 60 to 35 F4 from Zeiss is the one to get because of its price. I carry this lens always with me when I travel. Also because my apartment isn't that big, this lens definitely helps to, to get those wider shots I need. Now, this is a really good choice if you do not yet have a wide angle lens. The versatility 
a focal length range, optical steady shot, make this lens usable in a lot of situations. Once again, I want to thank all of you that support this channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more awesome video like this. If this video helped you guys in some way, please leave a thumbs up. Until next time and take care. Thank you.